everyone, welcome to EGX 2019. Please welcome to the stage, the Oxventurers Guild! Now that's not fair on people who didn't come last night, come on. <laughs> you know better than that. They don't. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I am the captain of the Joyful Damnation, viceroy of the navy that I invented. <laughs> My name is Corazon de Baena. <laughs> I am Egbert, the Dragonborn Paladin, searching for atonement, desperately seeking atonement, like that film where that person was seeking Susan. Spooky friends, I'm Prudence, the Tiefling Warlock. Hello, I'm Meryl Wynn, the Wood Elf Druid. I like animals a bit. Uh, I'm Dob, the Half Orc Bard. <laughs> but check out this next guy. Good evening. I'm literally everyone else in the world. <laughs> So, oh, look, it's all those people we gave passage to on the Joyful Damnation. Thanks for the money. It was great. We're getting into port now, so if you've got any more money, you can just leave it in a tin on the way out. Maybe. It's true. We begin uh, on the Joyful Damnation for this most spooky of Vox Ventures. As yeah, we... the logo's upside down. <laughs> oh. 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 I mean... What's more spooky than being upside down? <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> It's pulling into Necropolis on Sea. Oh. <laughs> which would be quite a charming town if it weren't for the fact that every square meter going spare in this town is studded with gravestones. Absolutely everywhere. There are paths winding to buildings <laughs> and all sorts of things, but literally wherever there is space for somebody to not trip over a grave, there's a grave. Look, you guys already paid to come here, all right? No refunds. <laughs> and uh, that's what you see as you pull into port. Just, a, just, just real dead and spooky. Oh, sure. And in the background, there's a big cliff with a big old house on it. Don't worry about that. Oh. <laughs> I go up to the gravestones and try to get a representative idea of how long ago people stopped dying on this, <laughs> this place. Job does a quick survey. <laughs> I see yeah. body okay. I whip out my clipboard and start censusing. <laughs> okay. Uh, in that case, we'll call it an intelligence investigation check. One of my favourite kinds of check. Uh, that's a 13. <laughs> 14. Okay, yeah, fine. Uh, it, <laughs> it takes you two days. No. Um, <laughs> you do a quick sort of recce, and you see that some of these greys are very old. Some of these greys are very, 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 very new. Um, oh. And a lot of these greys, to be honest, they've had, they've had names and dates chiseled out or just scratched through with a bit of chalk, and a new one's been written on. Seems like there's a, a, the mortality rate in Necropolis on Sea is astronomically high. Guys, Why anyone else getting a bad vibe from this grave city of dead people? Guys, this is exactly my spooky aesthetic. <laughs> well, this is your birthday and Christmas present. Yay! <laughs> this is Prudence's uh, vacation. This is your beach episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I lay out a towel. <laughs> and roll around in a grave. <laughs> <laughs> I propose... I, I look around for living people. OK. Are there um, any alive, not dead people it's not here? not like you. Are you feeling all right? Well... A little under the weather, I know. Yeah. Just checking. You uh, sort of start to scan either with your eyes or your telescope. Um, I guess you're still using your eyes, but never mind. Um, you start to look, and between the graves, with this sort of miasmic smoke threading through all of the gravestones, mm. you believe you see a hunched form kind of moving between the stones, slowly wending their way towards you. It's quite complicated. It's like an Ikea. So it's sort <laughs> of like... Turning one way and then turning another way, but, but the are the meatballs at the end. Yeah. <laughs> and then you buy 500 tea lights for some reason. There are quite a lot of tea lights on these graves, in fairness. And uh, cannibalism joke, I don't know. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, spooky person. How are you? I. <laughs> 
Good. Good. <laughs> you know, getting by. <laughs> Sunrise, sunset. We Don't love what you've that. done with the place. <laughs> Thank you. She loves, she loves it. Done. I yeah. love what you've done with the place. Yes. And uh, yeah, we're, we're just sort of here incidentally. Why is everyone dead? Ah, are you not here to attempt the challenge? Yes, no. Oh. <laughs> OK. <laughs> maybe. Ah, maybe. What? Yes, yes. Come on, I want to know what the challenge is. Let's yeah, let's find out what the challenge is. What are the challenges surviving stabbed in the eye with a fork? <laughs> I still say yes. <laughs> ah! She produces a dusty tome from her robes and sort of flips through it and says, Yes, many have died from a fork in the eye, but not so many as you might think. I wouldn't worry, young travellers. Yeah, Wait, challenge us get, up. What do we get? Spooky ah. crone, if we complete the challenge. Ah. Also, what is the challenge? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> What's the prize? What's uh, the prize? See ye the, the house that is very easily seen from <laughs> the sea? I, I look at um, the, the spooky mansion. I look at the up mansion. Up yonder cliff top? I do. It is uh, really quite horribly, terribly haunted. That's okay. fine, because ghosts don't exist. <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. She starts flipping through her tome again. You don't believe in ghosts? No. You are rocking the world of this gravekeeper. <laughs> they oh don't my exist. God. Ghosts Wait, don't, don't exist. Wait, like, come on, yeah. be real. Wait, hang on. Is this some pallid in order doctrine? No. I just, if ghosts don't exist... Have you then ever seen a ghost? Yeah. yeah. I spoke with one. So like three this morning. <laughs> I don't think so. It was probably a trick of the light. All right, we literally let's... had a crew of skeleton people. They're not ghosts, though. The dragon man who believes in the sky cow doesn't <laughs> believe in ghosts, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the sky cow. You've I seen it's real. You've seen 60 reanimated skeletons. Oh, yes. Yeah. Again, right. not ghosts. Mm. Let's see if tonight's nice... my case. We can change Egbert the skeptic's mind, I'm sure. Yeah. Let's show him a lot of ghosts. Yeah. Art thou quite finished? For I have a lot of sage to burn. Okay. 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 Don't let's stop no, you. Please continue. For the fourth time, what is the challenge? Please. <laughs> May I know, kind, grave, person. Crone. Bismuth. Crone. Biz bismuth. Bismuth. The crone! Bismuth the crone, lovely to meet you. <laughs> Charmed. But she, like, it's it, a very gnarled hand, sort of. <laughs> Does the finger come off? No. Okay. But, like, you feel quite, basically, you're like, mm, I wouldn't want to be the second or third next person <laughs> she meets, because that might be the one. <laughs> Some say the mansion was cursed when it passed to another. <laughs> A member of the family who refused the family business. Ugh. But... Look, we're all cursed, mate. Get it stands <laughs> uninhabited. And anyone who passes a night within its walls and lives... Yes. ...shall inherit the mansion. Cool. So... <laughs> 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 so if we spend a night in the horrible, haunted, tumble-down, ghost-filled skeleton mansion... Yes! ...we get to keep the horrible, tumble-down, ghost-filled skeleton mansion. Yes! It's a prime location! <laughs> we could renovate it. We could flip it. Yeah, it's yes! A it's a fixer-upper, but yeah, location, I mean, location, location. It is the only real you. estate on this island that isn't a grave. It has been difficult to shift, <laughs> and you can see that many have tried to own the mansion and see failed. You. Holiday home. Oh, Let's yes. do it. Let's do uh, it. Oh, yeah. Spooky holiday home. Who wouldn't want that? I mean, obviously, no one would want that. But let's get it anyway. This guy. Let's this win guy. Prudence, the All holiday right. home. Of my Seeing dreams. as it is Prudence's birthday and Christmas present. Yeah. OK, so we, all we have to do is stay there one night. Yeah. One night must ye pass in the mansion. Well, what time is it now? Is it like 11 p.m.? Because I'm 4.30 Also, what's time to check out in the morning? Because I like a lion. <laughs> <laughs> she opens up the dusty tome and says, <laughs> You know, it has never come up. <laughs> Although I suppose in the morning, if thou still livest, 
you can really decide for yourselves. Because okay. it's yours now. Oh, yeah. Got it. Yeah. We and can turn it into a B&B. &B. Yeah. Blood and bones. Bl ah! Blood and bones. She's already <laughs> one of those. Oh, OK. Um, bismuth. It's got some great Yelp reviews. <laughs> Oh. Inspiration for Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Are they just, ah! Ah, I see you're familiar with the locale. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so let's, let's head on up there ASAP. Sounds okay. good. I sprint up to the house. Wait, wait, oh, wait. What's it? Hey. One last thing. She yells as you. It's only stop. dog that's run off. We're still here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you can tell us. Bizarrely, she still delivers the entire question to Dob in okay. a diminishing voice. <laughs> <laughs> if thou diest, may I have thine stuff? Wait, what now? If if thou diest, she wants your stuff. May if... I have thine stuff? Oh. Oh, that stuff. Yes. yes. No. Yes. What? No, you can't have it. It's going to all be buried with me, and these guys are getting buried with me, so they can be. If we die, you get. Life. If we die, you get our stuff. Yes, please. Uh, may I? Yes. Cool. <laughs> it's all in a lake anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yes, You're but going to have I, to go to the bottom of a lake to my, get it. <laughs> one of my very few possessions is a map to the lake. Uh, what? Yeah. You had a map. You have a map to the lake. <laughs> Yeah. And what's that been thrown in? There's a circle that illustrates a lake. Are and you just arrow. waiting for another lake to throw the map in? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, that's it. I threw the map in a different lake. <laughs> right, now the map Checks leads out. to that lake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we find the map. It's two-factor authentication. <laughs> 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 so, in brief, yes, we accept your terms. Thank you. Do you want to shake on it? In the dead. <laughs> Do you sprint back down the hill to shake? <laughs> Hang on. Constitution. No, she's intact. <laughs> Very dexterous. <laughs> well, what a treat this has been. Uh, Proceedy up to the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If thou wouldst. Proceedy, yeah, we're going. I'll wait here. Yeah, we're going. Bismuth. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to, like, come with us? He's got a papoose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I'm not keen on dying. There's just something about the quality of your voice, Bismuth, that I want to keep hearing. <laughs> <laughs> OK, make me a charisma persuasion <laughs> check. All right. And we're going to call this a 15. Ah. Fair? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, well, that's a... No well, ending. Well, now, to be fair, that is, a, that is an 11, so no. Come on, Bismuth, you're basically dead already. <laughs> what's, a oh. little, what's a little more death? Is but that really rude. supposed to inspire me to become thine friend? Yeah. <laughs> come on, it'll be fun. Bismuth, it's, how I about if you come with business. us and we succeed in the challenge, you can have half the house. What's not? No! OK, that, I'm, getting a, I'm getting a no from my <laughs> side. I'm just, yep, yep, yep. Client side says, mm, no, sorry. <laughs> it's That's not a, a deal breaker. It's a deal breaker. Um, you can have the shed. Little hut for Bismuth. You could finally, you know, have a little, little roof over your bismuth head. Shed. Well, bully for bismuth. <laughs> little, gra could, little granny annex. You, you, could, tip. You, could, you could start your own online bismuth. <laughs> <laughs> Dob, you can have inspiration. And actually, the two-factor authentication thing is very funny <laughs> as well. So that's inspiration for both of you. Um, I would, I tell you, I'll walk you up the hill. How's that? Deal. Great. And if you die, I'm going to have all your stuff. Yes. Fine. That's agreed. Cool. All right, up we go. You sticking with Bismuth? This is going to take her a while. I give Bismuth a piggyback. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what? I fun. hope the bits don't snap off as I lift her onto my back. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you hear like a couple of soft, like, tinks on the road behind you. You're not sure what they are, but. Maybe she dropped some change. <laughs> Maybe she dropped a toe or a tooth. Oh. Who can say? <laughs> she can't if she's not got teeth. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cool. Dob, can I have a piggyback? I don't really want to walk up a hill. Can you have one now? A piggyback. I don't want to walk up this hill. Yes. Nice. Thanks. All right. I jump on before Corazon can. <laughs> I strayed purposefully ahead uh -huh. and hit the spooky mansion with um, Eldritch Sight, which is detect magic. Just checking it out for 
yep. scanning for okay. magic. Uh, is that? Uh, do you need to roll it? I don't believe I so. Remember. It's to detect magic. We used it oh, yesterday. It's just yes. a kind of like bit, 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 magic. Uh, so many ghosts. So many ghosts. I'm getting so many ghosts. Ghosts, sure you are. Egbert. <laughs> it's like, sure. If just normally, ghosts for days. It's normally just for the you. wind blowing through the trees. It's a weather balloon. Yeah, it's a weather balloon. <laughs> normally, if you were to scan a house and see a ghost, you sort of see a, a form of sort of like otherworldly energy moving about. Mm. It is like you were looking at TV static. There's just oh. that many overlapping ghosts. Ooh. So many. Ooh. You're like, get me in there. Oh, yeah. It's full of ghost juice. Yeah, you want to head full in there? Full to the rafters. Maybe. Let's dive in. Yeah, I, yeah I, think we should just, I think we should just head straight in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. can't speak to their intentions. What? Friendly ghost, bad ghost. You want to go in the front door? Yeah. What does the front door look like? So, the entire mansion is absolutely palatial, uh, and it has many, many windows with little teeny tiny bits of glass with lots and lots of lead work in between. Cool. Many, many, many. It's super atmospheric. There are gargoyles falling to pieces. We'll there replace those vines. with something that lets in a bit more light. There's moss, there's mildew. As you look up, it almost seems like the floors disappear into some distant vanishing point. This is a very big, very spooky building. Oh, yeah. Um, and you can sort of see, like, in the, 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 like, what is left of the light as the sun sort of starts to dip down toward evening, uh, you can see, like, what might be bats starting to circle the building. You're not sure if they're bats, you're not sure if there's something absolutely colossal or tiny, or if there are loads of them, or there are very few of them. It's, it, there's something up there, and it's flying, and... Look at those bats, they're definitely bats. I love bats, probably fine. Um, all right, I guess if we're going to spend the night in there, we should go in and Pick find... our rooms. Yeah, pick yeah. rooms. Yeah. yeah. OK, so the, the front door is, um, again, colossal. And it has um, a ring with which to knock that is probably about this thick. Like, it is huge. Like, if you, you're, you're fairly convinced if you manage to pull this thing back and knock on the door, you're just going to blow the door in. All right. Oh, OK. Let's not do that to my new door. <laughs> Well, how else are we going to open the door? Um, is it locked? I'm give it a little... Give it a push. <laughs> is there a, a cat flap? Is there a spooky cat flap? Yes. Spooky but it's not, shape, it's not in a shape that you would expect a cat to take. It's, if anything, it's almost as if it's designed for a creature to enter it sideways. And <laughs> it is cut out in a very precise pattern that's kind of like big form up here. And then slot for leg, 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 <laughs> slot for leg, and so on and so forth. That's a lot of legs. <laughs> I contort myself into that exact shape. <laughs> All right, that is a <laughs> bring on the wall. <laughs> That's a dexterity acrobatics <laughs> check, well, please, right. there, Coruscant. We're going to call this. Call it a twenty. <laughs> we'll call it a ten, but if you biff it, you're going to take some harm. <laughs> Past three, so I hear from the audience. <laughs> it's a Greece. 16. Okay. So. Um, to be honest, like, all of you except for Prudence feel a bit sick. You didn't really think that this, um, uh, this dashing young pirate could do <laughs> anything quite so horrifying. Uh, indeed, you didn't, wait, do wait, any, I gotta... you didn't think any human could do anything quite so horrifying and still live. And yet, somehow, Corazon de Baena just sort of reworks his entire skeleton <coughs> and scuttles into the mansion. Ha ha! I um, underestimated you, Corazon. <laughs> um, I overestimated you, you Corazon. You spring up on the other side, Corazon, and go, ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Corazon, can, ha -ha. You, can you hear us through the cat flap? Yes. I propose a scheme. What, what is your scheme? You're so good at disguises these days. What if you disguise yourself as a ghost, introduce yourself to the ghosts as a new ghost, and then haunt us from the inside? <laughs> you want a mole? Like a, a... Yeah, a mole ghost. A ghost mole. A mole ghost. Or do mole have souls? Do you want me to open this door first? I mean... Well, no, I think, because as soon as we go in there, they'll notice, seeing as you're inside, maybe you want to, like, scout about, find the ghost. Scout about as a ghost. And then be like, guys, I just see some, see some fleshy some humans. Some absolute Let's get... easy humans yeah. to kill. Let's also, if no so. ghosts turn up, you can haunt Egbert. And also, then we can all pretend not to see Corazon, which will be interesting. <laughs> so... <laughs> <And the lols. laughs> 
Okay. Seems so, like a bad plan. Uh, Coruscant, you, uh, you, you've heard the last of your triumphant laugh echo into the distance. It is pretty much pitch black. It smells very, very dusty, quite mildewy, and there's something else under there, some sort of like sickly sweet smell. Uh, okay, can I uh, use a tinderbox and one of my torches to have a, have a look? Absolutely. Right. You sort of bend down, strike a tinder uh, box. You, do, you light the torch, yeah. is what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> and as you swing it up, um, there is a face standing right there. In front ah! of <laughs> it is grey and sallow, and it's like the skin has been turned into old parchment. Um, and as you sort of pull the, as you sort of flinch back with the torch, it casts more light, and you see a figure with very thinning hair that looks like, frankly, each strand would snap if you so much as touched it. This person is standing there wearing a red uh, blazer that has long since turned to mildew and rot, and it's sort of, sort of green, green mottled now. But once it was a moderately well-tailored red blazer. Guys, there's ghosts in here. I think they've already seen me. Good okay. evening. Evening. <laughs> How are you? Well, you know, not so bad sunrise, <laughs> sunset. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling with my other hand for some sort of latch to open the door behind me. <laughs> Are you here to take the challenge? Just, yep. I, mm, yep. Splendid. Good, yeah, can't wait. I am Henry Charles Fauntleroy Stripworth called Cahoon the Third. At your I, service. So, sorry, Henry, I'm going to have to hear that name again. <laughs> Certainly, sir. Henry Charles. Yep. Fontelroy. Got it. Col Stripworth. Damn it. <laughs> oh, these brains aren't what they used to be. <laughs> After some of them were eaten by millipedes. <laughs> Where was I? Henry Charles Fontelroy Stripworth. Col Cahoon. Col Cahoon. The third. At your service. Pleasure. No, that's all. At your. Oh, at your service. At, part of yes, the it's also right. all part. Yes. Is that double barreled or? <laughs> Triple barrels. Who was that? I, <laughs> oh, yeah. Are there others with you? I yes, heard yes. a small Coruscant. voice. How's it going in there? Can, can we open this door? Can we get the others in here, please? Oh, certainly. There are others. He doesn't move. He makes absolutely no sign of doing anything. But with an almighty creak, the door <laughs> starts to Makes the sound open. Home, Tim Allen makes in Home Improvement. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And it goes on for, he locks eyes with you. The whole process takes about 45 seconds of just a long time. <laughs> Good evening, he says to the others. We march in. I am Henry friend. Charles Fauntleroy <laughs> Stripworth <laughs> Colcahoon the Third at your service. I'm going to call you Henry. <laughs> Charles Fauntleroy Stripworth Colcahoon the Third at your service. Henry so, three. Hank, where can we go to find our rooms? <laughs> His head sort of <laughs> spins slowly, <laughs> 360 <laughs> degrees. You wish to go to your rooms? You say? Well, if we're going to spend the night, I mean, I'm not sleeping on the floor. Well, and naturally, we always have a place here for wandering souls. All right. It's just, it's, it's probably nothing. Uh, this seems lovely. Yeah. Since we've heard around town, yeah. a lot of people have died. I don't know if you've seen the gravestones. Oh, my, yeah. Yeah. So, is that, I mean? I mean, how did you think they get back into the town? Oh, you, you take the bodies down? Yes. No, up. Oh. I take them up. I take them to the roof. And I just sort of, you know, whoop. <laughs> and then 
There is a crone in the town. Oh, Bismuth, yeah. Ah, you've met Bismuth be her name. I yes. mean, I assume she's still on my back. Yeah, Bismuth maybe is here with distracted. us. Oh, yeah. She pipes up like, <laughs> I'm here. Because, well, that's inconvenient. Who's going to drive the wagon and bury the bodies? Hey, now, you wouldn't kill us, Hank. We're buddies. You and me, friends. Remember back then when My name said is not Hank. Do, do you require a reminder? No, 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 no. No, sorry, Mr. Henry Charles von Royster of Worth Cole Cahoon the Third at your service. At your service, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> You wouldn't kill us, would you? you well, kill us? it's not me that does the killing. I exist only to serve. So you mentioned something about rooms? Yes, I can show you to them. They are already prepared. Can I have a grog? Sure. <laughs> Here is a bell. He hands you a small hand bell. It's about that size. Make me a strength saving throw. <laughs> oh, saving throw. What? <laughs> Seven. Oh. You... That's one. Eight. Okay. Basically, you jar your shoulder as your entire arm goes BOOM! Ah! It is impossibly heavy. The hell? What? All that you need to do, if you need anything, is ring the bell. <laughs> Should you get the bell with my foot? Um, there is an impossibly loud BOOM! It's like you're inside Big Ben. Uh, cool. Coming, yeah. sir! <laughs> he says on reflex. <laughs> <laughs> can, I have a, can I have a grog, please? Yeah. Thanks. He scuttles off into the darkness. In fact, he doesn't scuttle, he glides. He just sort of. You know what gliding is. Um, <laughs> While he's fetching the grog, maybe we should like scout around a bit, see, like look for Yeah, now he's not here. Now's the chance. That's yeah. exactly why I did it. It was a clever ruse. Yeah. All right. What do we do? What do we do? Um, Where are clues normally? Is there a bookshelf? I start pulling off books at random. One might be a secret door. <laughs> <laughs> Make me an intelligence <laughs> investigation check. Uh, well. <laughs> That's a good sound. Oh, uh, uh, sixteen. All right. You start pulling books at random off the shelf. Um. And sconces. I'm yanking every sconce. <laughs> okay. I'm twisting. Actually, it's pronounced scones. <laughs> you do a pretty good job of. Um, <laughs> you do a pretty good job of trashing the entranceway. <laughs> okay. Uh, but you do indeed sort of wrench. It's. To be honest with you, Dub, you're not really sure whether you found a secret passage by pulling on a candlestick or whether you just wrenched a particularly loose section of wall out. Okay. But a section of wall just kind of boom. This all needed to come out anyway because we're going to open this space up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're going to kitchen is... island open in here. Plan. Yeah. Turn this lovely. down. Hardwood floor. Yeah. Clear it out. There is a secret passageway. Yes, it Whoa. sort of leads behind um, behind okay. a wall. Okay, quickly before he gets back, let's a couple of us go down this secret passageway in. and the other. Prudence, with me? Yes. Passageway? S secret passageway. All right. Yeah. All right, down the secret passageway with Prudence. All right. Yep. All right. Um, could you just make me a stealth check? Stealth? Uh, yeah, dexterity oh. stealth. Okay. I mean, I mean, I know it's a secret passageway, but you still might notice that you've, <laughs> that you've gone. Oh, Critical oh. one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. oh, inspiration! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Inspiration, Bosch. Uh, Critical one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I also rolled a... one and also yeah. use inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Easy come, easy go. Dob, I've got a bad feeling about this. I feel like I've just been mugged. <laughs> Lucky number 13 for me. I got an 11 this time. Two okay. ones! <laughs> <laughs> Double critical one. <laughs> okay, you both sneak um, well enough down the, the corridor. There's sort of some, some light shuffling of feet uh, and sort of some, tear, some very slight tearing noises as you, you just move through an awful lot of cobwebs, just kind of really pushing your way through. Um, some go in my mouth. Blech. Okay. Some come in my mouth. <laughs> You're the boss. <laughs> I eat my way through the cup. <laughs> <laughs> Big mouthful. So Jane and is yang, kind of. Yang. <laughs> it's not candy like, floss job. <laughs> Jane is being like some form of ethereal Ms. Pac Man. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like. Um, nang, 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 um, munching um, her way right. through. I peer ahead with dark vision, <laughs> looking for things in the secret passage. Basically, it seems like this is a passageway with hidden entrances to 
uh, the vast majority of the rooms in this house, Ooh. and there are also, uh, where there aren't secret passageways, there are peepholes, so eye you can holes. spy on some of the rooms. Into paintings, I bet, Dob. Spooky eye holes. Yeah. I look through the closest spooky eye holes. All right. You... Into a bedroom, I assume. You... Your eyes get very cold. Hmm. Stick with me. Because you sort of you poke them through and you can tell instantly the sort of the, the, the air that's coming through the holes. The room beyond is incredibly cold, like freezing. Thick with ghosts. But it there's a light that seems to flicker, and as you sort of let your eyes adjust, you see um, there is indeed a fire burning in a hearth. But it burns blue and it just oh. gives out light and no heat. It is absolutely freezing cold in there. Oh my god. And you hear an <laughs> joined by another voice going, Oh, <laughs> and God, Chauncey's back. Kind of, <laughs> and you see three ghostly old ladies having a ghostly tea oh. in front of the fire. Dob, it's so beautiful. It's nice that they found each other. It is. <laughs> Basically, you've uncovered a network that will take you from pretty much anywhere in the house to anywhere in the house. Good okay. job. Okay, I feel like I was so strong on wanting to go into the secret passage and yes. less strong on what to do now. Okay. <laughs> Prudence, how are you feeling right now? Well, ghosts confirmed. Okay, well, that's But then good. we already knew that. We should have brought Egbert and we could have convinced him about the ghosts. Oh, we would have just said that it was like holograms. Some or cold old ladies. <laughs> some, yeah, I'm some still cold in the lobby, tea. counting yeah. and recounting businesses, fingers and toes, oh. just to be sure. Okay, well, I'll tell you what we could do. Yes. Is maybe just sort of not go too far down the passage, but just listen to hear like what rooms everyone goes in. Because maybe like if, if Henry, right. uh, not to give him his full title, right. doesn't remember we were even there, Maybe uh, okay, we that's quite the if, yes. Yeah, I don't know. Well, what, do you, what do you think we should do? Well, I presume uh, Henry hasn't returned with whatever his errand was. Well, Oh. we'll cut back um, Henry Charles Fauntleroy Stripworth Colquhoun III at your service, returns with um, actually a, a, like a, quite a nice cup filled with a grog that to your nostril smells pretty great. Sweet. He does. There you are. He brings you a grog. This is possible. He says, will there be anything else, or would you like to be shown to your room? Yeah, I'll, uh, what's your best room? Well, I mean, not to put too fine a point on it, but we have only the best rooms full stop. Yeah, but what's the best, best room? For you, the one we no, have no, prepared. For me. For what's you? the best, best room in the entire house? I suppose it would be the penthouse suite. I will take the penthouse suite, if you want to show me up there. It is the one we've prepared for you, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant, they knew I was coming. Great. Uh, where do you want to go? That's what I've your... been trying to tell you. <laughs> the shed. Uh, I'd like to go to the kitchen, actually. Sleep in the I'm kitchen. I'm starving. Are you hungry? Yes, very hungry. Very well, it is just down that passageway. Thanks. Will you take the bell and summon me when you are ready to be shown to your room? Yes, I will do. Strength. Same Strength thing, check. Is that the D20 again? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, eight plus four is 12. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you sort of managed. It, you're ready for it this time. So yeah. you're like, OK, I'm not going to drop this bell. Um, it is just that way. Follow your nose. OK. Um, I sort of have to. It's really long. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have a choice. I apologize, sir, if any offense were taken. I, I do have a bit of a complaint none. about it. I solely meant that it smells like food in the kitchen. OK, I'll forgive you this time, Henners. <laughs> <laughs> you really get that checked out. Will the rest of you follow me? <laughs> OK. So I guess it's, well, two of you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he leads you uh, up a, a winding staircase and then along a corridor. He says, you're in the south wing. And he stops at a door and says, mom, and opens it. And it opens on an absolutely beautiful room that is effectively a little forest glade. There is a lovely tree there and a lovely tree there with a lovely hammock strung between of the finest silk interwoven into a, into a hammock. Um, there's sort of, there's a little pool of water. You can hear the soft croaking of some frogs. 
Henry says, don't mind the frogs. Um, it's, it's absolutely everything you would want. It's like you've stumbled across the most idyllic forest clearing. Lovely. This is quite a nice mirror one. Do you want to swap? No. All right, fine. If you'll excuse us, I shall escort this gentleman to his room. OK, I'm going to go and look for some Coruscant, frogs. Coruscant, he leads you further on and opens the door um, on a room suffused with golden light. Uh, with satin sheets on a bed and finery everywhere. Like, there's a, a, a table inlaid with walnut, which is inlaid with silver, which is inlaid with more walnut, and then, like, some silver walnut. You'd, to be honest, <laughs> you get bored counting the inlays. Um, it uh, is just extremely well appointed. There is a rack of the finest wines. There is a grog barrel. There is a rug made of um, some form of exotic creature that you've always wanted to hunt, actually. But it's extinct now. Yes. So, yeah, but they've got a rug of it. Well, yep, it is perfect. now. This is perfect. Thank you. Uh, and room service, is that something? Ah, uh, yes, know? hold on. I do have more than one, but I'll put it down here. If you would, thanks. He puts a bell down for you. Will the others be joining us soon? What, what others? Well, uh, apart from the gentleman who's rather sensitive about his nose, having something to eat in the kitchen, I, the lady in her room, I rather remember there being two other people attempting to complete the challenge. That's, no, I don't, don't remember. You other know people. that they can't just show up, say, yes, I'm here, and then return in the morning and try to claim the house. So I, they check in. Yeah. And then they must remain in the house. Yes. <laughs> OK. Um, yeah, then, no, that's, I guess that's, that makes sense. Yeah, they're probably just uh, in the gym or the sauna, you know, somewhere like that. Dob, I hope Corazon is covering for us while we are in the crawl space. Yeah. I imagine we're watching this conversation happen through the eyes of a painting of yeah, yeah, two yeah. pugs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. In the corridor, there is a grand painting of two pugs. You're kind of leaning in the doorway. Um, OK. One with burning red eyes. Now. Corazon's room's really nice, Dob. Do you think maybe we've also got dream fantasy amazing rooms that are all decked up for our personalities? You probably. stay in your corridor of <laughs> spider webs. Web I mean, we could probably just stay in here overnight right out the clock. Before but... Henry catches us in the crawl space. OK, I, I lower wanna... myself into a piping hot bubble bath. <laughs> <laughs> That's out of <laughs> I stuff up the pug painting, <laughs> the eye holes, and uh, quickly before Henry realizes we're in the crawl space uh, or the secret passage, I uh, find my way to the library if I can. Absolutely. I head down the secret passage, checking all the eye holes, looking for some kind of grand cathedral like library where I expect they have lots of arcane tomes of dark magic. History of the house, that kind of thing. Sure. <laughs> Yes, yeah. absolutely. You, you find your way into the library. You emerge um, from behind a bookcase. Oh, it's a bookcase door. I always wanted one of these. And it'll be ours if we don't die. Easy. Dumb. <laughs> OK. All we have to do is not die. All right. Easy. We do that all the time. <laughs> yeah, mostly. I don't die all the time. <laughs> so you There's absolutely together. no evidence to suggest that we're not immortal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. You can't argue with that logic. 100% survival rate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, okay. I okay. begin You're in the scanning library. the spines of the bookshelves. Business as usual, looking for the fangiest, eldritchest tome. And I'm looking, for, uh, I'm looking for photo albums, things that look like personal effects of the original residents. Delightful. Cool. Both of you make me uh, an intelligence investigation check. Okay, let's do this. Oh. Intelligence All investigation this. check. Oh, okay. Uh, is, uh, Eight. And a two, ten. Perfect. Yeah. Um, Prudence, you don't really have to search very hard because I think the book you're looking for is growling mm. on its shelf. In fact, mm. it is the only book on the shelf because it's sort of like chomping its way up and oh. down said shelf. And there's a little mesh cage like they have for like first editions in Oh, my in book, libraries. baby. <laughs> So just studying this dice, you rolled a 20. This is a what? 20. It's not a 20. That's a, the 8 is next to it. What? Look, that, I was... 
That is an eight. Oh. That is some kind oh, of horrible a, pentagram. It's a horrible pentagram. That representing. Means, it looks a bit like an eight. I was just given this dice. Oh, that's today. an elder sign. Yeah, that's a crit. Yeah. Oh. Okay, there are two books. Yeah. They've got <laughs> tails and ears. And as you approach, they stop gnashing and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> with these little babies. horrible leather bookmarks. And they just sort of start bouncing up and down. Ooh. And it's like they're s they didn't know when you were coming back. They're so excited to see you and they want their tummies rubbed. Oh. I, I mean, they're grimoires, so dial it back a bit. Like, it's definitely bound in some form of skin. All right. Which I guess a lot of books are. And but a lot of dogs. Skin that's bad and creepy, <laughs> you know? Mm. And dogs. Pretty much all dogs. You know what? Dogs yeah. are bound in skin. If you think about it. I gather the possibly human skin bound books to me and let them lick my face. They do so, mm. raspingly, like. <laughs> mm. Exfoliating my face as yes. they do so. And right. uh, they, they whisper to you in like eldritch dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is already the best challenge ever. Uh, I am pleased. Great. How's it going over there? Dob, any histories or what have you? Yeah, I'm flipping around. I'm looking for, looking for the photo albums, looking for the old poems. You have found a couple of photo albums, actually. Aha! Uh, but flipping through them, it, you don't seem to be able to glean much because uh, there are lots and lots of, of pictures, clearly with people standing there posing like family portraits and stuff in front of uh, the mansion, which is recognizably the mansion, albeit in a better state. But it's almost like uh, the figures in these pictures have caught fire and burnt, and then the fire's gone out quickly. They are obscured, they are blackened, kind of the finish on the, um, the paper is bubbled. It's like they've been erased from the record. I got nothing. What do you Ooh. see, Dob? Tell me. I look okay. over his shoulder. Well, so there are all of these pictures. Yeah. Uh, I assume, you know, like illustrations. Oh, yeah, 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 really. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like woodcuts. Yeah. All of these woodcuts are people in front of what is recognizably the house. Okay. That's, the one, that's what I meant. But as you can see, all of the, uh, like, faces of everyone yes. has been burned out. It's ah. almost as if, I guess, like, loads and loads and loads of people have maybe owned this house. Okay. But every previous resident has... Is, is, is been a, in somehow cursed or is, you know, like something bad's happened to them. Right. This looks like bad sort of magic to me. Right. So I haven't really learned anything about the origin of the house, but I guess from this, perhaps we, do you think it's reasonable to infer that every occupant of the house dies cursed? I think we can, we can assume that. Okay. What do you want to do with this information, Dob? Uh, well, what we could do is... Yes. Uh, slip out back into the lobby, yes. knowing about the sort of secret crawl spaces, yes. find Henry, the big H, yes. and just... H-man! <laughs> H-man! Double barrel, double barrel H. And okay. just, um, H bomb, and just find him, <laughs> and, and just um, yeah. uh, and just basically be like, "Where were you? We lost you. We wandered off or something." But we know about the secret passages, so maybe we can nip into them later or something. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I kind of want to see what my room looks like, yeah. don't Aww. you? Aren't you sort of curious? Yeah. Oh. All right. All right. Keep that book though, because you yeah. know, tuck it down something and yeah, yeah. I tuck it down something. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? I don't even know what I rolled. That was just a joke. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> um, I, I hide it someplace. With context later, it might be illuminating. Yeah, and you take the grimoires, obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're on my belt. I'm, yeah. I'm hanging one from each side. Because I reckon if you swung that really hard into someone's head, yeah. it could kill them. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so yeah. that could be useful. Okay. So, all right. yeah, all right, all right. So we go, we go, we we go find Henry. We scamper back to the lobby and pretend. I, I shout as loudly as I possibly can, Henry! Charles Fontenoy Stripworth Colquhoun the Third. At your service. Here comes a voice in the library. He is materialised behind you. Oh. Ah. ah, Henry. Henry. Where did I you go? see you have found the library. Please feel free to make use of it. There are many tomes here that have never been read, on account of all of the house's occupants dying horribly before they read them. Oh. Can you we see our rooms? Yes, they have been prepared. All right, well, so can, can we see them then? Yes, yes they have been prepared. Have been. I don't know how to move this conversation <laughs> onwards. Well, well, we could just walk there, I suppose. Yes, you lead the way, Henry. All right. Let's run out the night just doing this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
can we see the rooms? Yes, they have been prepared. <laughs> so, so, can, can we, we see the rooms? <laughs> oh, yes. They have been prepared. <laughs> Show us uh, to them, then. <laughs> okay. He leads you down a corridor, and uh, Dob, he, he stops and sort of looks at you and says, Your room, sir. All right, I kick open the door. <laughs> <laughs> it dramatically splinters into like four pre cut fragments. Ooh. So you're like, Pew! Action door! Oh, they've oh, done and everything! All of my things are breakaway. Yes! <laughs> Have you tested your trousers? Are they tear away? <laughs> Henry Charles Fontenroy Strip with Cocker in the third at your service sort of walks into the room, picks up another door from a ready stock, and just kind of <laughs> slots it in and goes, Yes, we thought you might enjoy that, sir. I Here is your open. room. It, it, hmm? I kicked that door open. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, while he's replacing that door. Let's run um, out the night doing this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's in the room? I look around at the room. Um, you know what? The actual sleeping area is really quite... Um, it's quite cosy. Like, it's, it's almost like your bed is built into a little nook. There is a small wood burner there with oh. some logs sort of set up. There oh. are some blank bits of parchment already set up for you to write musical notation down. There's a nice quill, some ink. But most of the room, to be honest with you, is just taken up by a nice parlour with comfy armchairs, sort of arranged in a circle, um, as if, you know, you, you wanted friends to sort of sit there and, and talk away the evening with you. It's, it's kind of, it, you're like, oh, well, I could stay here. Aww. It's very dub. Oh, all right. Well, later on, I will have everyone round, and I will favour them with my anecdotes. I've got a thing on. <laughs> <laughs> You're washing your horns. <laughs> I didn't even tell you what time, Prudence. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll try and make it along, yeah. See, 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 see. Um, Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving you with a bell, um, Henry Charles Fontenroy Strip with Colquhoun the Third at your service leads you, Prudence, down the hallway. You smell your bedroom long before the door is reached. As um, usual. As he <laughs> puts his hand on the doorknob, uh, there, he seems to give no discernible reaction, but there is a hiss and you smell the, the familiar smell of burning flesh as he opens the door onto a brimstone hell pit. <laughs> the blast of heat that comes out as flames just shoot from the floor to the ceiling. There's like a molten pit in the corner, um, uh, and there is just basically, there's a bed of jagged rocks okay. that are also sort of interlaced with sort of sea rack and, mm. and water thick with, with rot. And so it's briny, it's but bright. brimstony. Exactly. It's hot. Yes. But also... Cla a bit like clammy. Clammy. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Love what you've done with the place. Tub. The climate control, perfect. The red room full of blood, is that, that's, there's a... Ah, uh, yes. The on one street. side. <laughs> <laughs> he gestures to, like, a swirling, horrible purple portal in the corner. Ah, oh, yeah. All right. Okay. We'll be wading around in there later. Thank you, Henry. Well, Thank you. Uh, I just have one guest to escort to their room, so I shall do that presently. Have a pleasant evening. Thank you. Appreciate we go, it. Now to the kitchen, where um, Egbert, I've, what are you what are you what are you having? Well, I've popped bismuth down on a chair. Yep, gently. Yep, not making that mistake again. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm like, hey, bismuth. Hey. Ah, hello. You look like you need a feed. Ah. Or several. Um, so I thought I'd ra like rustle up some sandwiches, maybe or something. Sure. I yeah. Can open sandwich, avocado, <laughs> chili flakes. What do you reckon? I have never heard of any of these. <laughs> but you just they rest your bones, I'll be right back. And I open the fridge. I assume there's a fridge. Uh, yep, the, uh, there the is ice a, box, a larder. The, yeah, yeah. larder. Um, and yet it is incredibly well stocked. There are cheeses, there are meats, there are breads, there are larder things. All right. So you can make it pretty much anything you want. Avocado sandwich. All right. Uh, she asks you many questions like, what is this, God? It's, it's an avocado, holding up an avocado, like, what is it? It's a fruit, it's very tasty. Oh! Kind of very soft, squidgy sort of... Uh, and what is a sandwich? Uh, well, um, basically, it's like pieces of bread. Normally, you would have two pieces of bread and a thing in the middle, but an open sandwich, you just leave it open. Ah. It's deconstructed. All the best restaurants are doing them. I shall attempt one of these sandwiches. Yeah, you should. She sort of, with an alarming pop, sort of jumps down onto the floor and busies herself in the larder. I count the fingers and toes and the limbs again, just to be sure. You're pretty sure 
that either she's not lost a toe, or if she did, it wasn't when you were carrying her. <laughs> You're okay. like, Good. who can really be sure how has, many toes this crone has? Has it ended up in a sandwich? Is that... <laughs> <laughs> Little gristly, this avocado. No. Hooray! <laughs> Has it um, ended up in my sandwich? No, you're fine. Okay, good. Um, so while Egbert is sort of making his, his own open face sandwich, um, <laughs> Bismuth the Crone sort of builds an impossibly tall one. <laughs> and sort of is like, yeah. Is this a sandwich? Yeah, it looks great. Now you eat it. Great. <laughs> so while you're doing that, um, tell me this challenge, has anyone ever actually achieved it? Was there a previous owner of this place? Oh, yes, there was a previous owner before the curse Ooh. fell on the house. And since then, we have tried to... Sh I say we, I mean, you've met Henry Charles Fauntleroy Stripworth Col Cahoon III at your service, I presume. Mm, lovely guy, yeah. He's actually an estate agent. Really? Oh. You think I mean, you that know sort someone. of coloured my opinion of him slightly. <laughs> well, generations <laughs> now, he has tried to shift the house, doomed to walk its halls, until a new owner has been found. Right, until a new owner's been found. Well, that's fine, because that's going to be tomorrow, so you can uh, really take a load off. Cocky. <laughs> <laughs> but sure, it's just that nobody's succeeded. Right, they, where did they go wrong, though? What was, their, what was the problem? Dying! <laughs> Although some of the more optimistic ones have, have posited that perhaps there is an unfinished business here that if it were concluded could cede the house right. to the rightful people. Interesting. Okay, that's good knowledge. Mm. That's useful. Okay. All right. Any idea what the unfinished business might be? Any Absolutely none. Right. I just collect the corpses on the wagon, take okay. what's rightfully mine and bung them in a grave. Right, so you rob the corpses and then chuck them in the grave. Well, it's, I mean, you try working a zero-hour contract <laughs> in this economy. I know, the gig economy, right? Yeah. I mean, What's look at us. What's the crown going to do? We're freelancers. It's dreadful. It's tough. And the taxes. Oh, I, you know, I always think I'll do my return early this year, and yet, oh, it comes around. <laughs> in stalks the tax ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, mm, a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to impose, but while this is happening, yep. so can I impose? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> well, I've unpacked yep. all the spooky seaweed bits and books and yep. 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 everything's laid out. I swing down the hall, yep. knock on some doors, knock on your door. You knock on Coruscant's door? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bang, 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 bang. <clears throat> bang, 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 bang. All right, hey. I am one bottle of claret and three grogs deep, and I'm eating a plump capon I ordered up from the kitchen. Hey, 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 Prudence! This place is great! Why is everyone dying? Prudence. <laughs> yes. You walk in to find Coruscant de Baena ensconced in what just seems like one enormous bed of slime and fungus and rot. And he appears to be drinking out of just sort of <sighs> some weird rotted carafe. Hey. A dark black liquid that's running down his chin and shirt. The whole place reeks. Oh, it's, sweet Cthulhu. He is covered in the in ocean. Blood. Corazon, I underestimated you. This place is rocking. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pull up a chair. Get a glass. I thought this place would be covered in like tacky satin and walnut, you know, inlays yeah. and. But yeah, you know, but the, actually, it's really tasteful. The, the slime and tentacles and, <laughs> the, 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 you know, moss and. <laughs> Seaweed, that stuff you're drinking, you've got all the sludge, the, black sludge down the, your chops, this, no? This is an extremely fine claret, Prudence. I, dob, uh, not Dob, your Dob, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Two years we've been doing this. Perception check, please, wisdom perception check, please, Corazon. Call it a ten. <laughs> That's a three. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wisdom, wait, wait, wait. wisdom. Plus two. It's a, um, it's a five. It's a five. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that'll be a five. Don't forget your proficiency bonus is oh. plus three these days. It still doesn't help. So it's, it's just good to know. Yeah. It's yeah. an eight. Um, it's an eight, then. What is Prudence talking about? Prudence, you crazy. This is great. Delicious claret. Nom, nom, nom. All right. <laughs> mm, I don't it, mind the taste. 
if I may, uh, Sorry, no. if I may inter interject for a second, uh, in my room, I have been busy uh, composing the first half of a, of a, of a, of a, of a brand new, brand new song. Rock opera. Um, and I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty tasty. So I had to, uh, to find Meryl Wen's room to show her, show it to her. Sure. Okay. You approach Meryl Wen's room. Meryl Wen, get a load of this, and I kick open the door. <laughs> <laughs> The door doesn't fragment, but it swings open, and you sort of keep strumming and then suddenly stop. Because Merylwen is hanging in a hammock that seems to just be ribs, 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 strung together with sinew. Ribs, ribs, ribs. And on the floor, the carpet is just guts. And it's in like a two inches of blood. And she's just there like... M M Merylwen. Rocking back and yeah. forth. I... I think this carpet is just guts. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a gut carpet, and I and I want to check if you. <laughs> no. Do you, do you mean g grass? Are you trying to say grass? Uh, no, I'm trying to say guts. <laughs> um, I, I, like, if you want to lounge around in guts and connective tissue, that is cool. Like, we're all friends with Prudence, we accept these. <laughs> but I just want to make sure that you know the deal of this whole deal. So, so, wait, but this is... Meryl went, put your hand out. Right, and down into the hammock that you're lounging in. Does it feel slimy and gristly and basically like when you tear apart a bit of cheap ham? Wisdom perception check, please. What even is it? So, 21 altogether. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, wait. No 24 wait. altogether. Oh! oh. <laughs> you know Meryl when. Don't know why we're cheering. Ignorance is bliss, people. <laughs> you think he might be onto something. You blink, and the reality of the room is suddenly horribly clear to you. Your, <laughs> your nostrils are filled with the stench of iron Dob. and blood and just viscera. Dob, I'm in a rib hammock. Okay. <laughs> Stop. All right, Marilyn. Help. Okay, Marilyn, I'm coming, I'm coming. I wade into the guts. I don't even want to know what the frogs are. Oh, I look at the frogs and I see what they are. <laughs> oh, what are the frogs? They are enormous hissing cockroaches. Ah, oh, that's worse like, than a frog. They're sat around playing poker. It's <laughs> <laughs> with bones. It's like... <laughs> Okay, you, 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 you. He's, got, he's got five aces, that's not right. I pick up... <laughs> they fall about one another, just tearing one another limb from limb. It's a cockroach bloodbath. <laughs> uh, I pick Merowen up from the hammock and uh, carry her out to the corridor. Thank you. And while I go, I go, ew, 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 and I also cast Prestidigitation to clean up Merowen and you. clean up me up to the All knees. Right. We Very come good. marching down the corridor from the opposite direction. Corazon's covered in a kind of black sludge. I take a detour to the humidor, help myself to a fine Cuban cigar, bite down heavily on it, <laughs> <laughs> strike a match on my boot. Mm. Ah, the great flavour of Cuban. Can't be beat. Guys. Whereas I look at Corazon and in his mouth I see... <laughs> no. No. Bad. No. 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 I said no. It's a finger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> said the man running a game of Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourselves. Corazon, okay. why are you chomping down on that old dead finger? It's a fine Cuban. Mm. Ah, the great aroma. As it passes under your nose, give me another check. <laughs> it's another three. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, it's, some people say you can't tell from the smell, but you really can tell when it's been hand-rolled. Yeah. Oh. It smells handy. He's smoking a desiccated human finger. OK. Uh, there's, there's bad juju. I mean, by which I mean good juju, but there's definitely juju in this house. OK. He's Good. smoking a finger and covered in sludge. <laughs> That's cool. I heard screaming, so something bad's going on down your rooms, you right? Yeah, Meryl Wayne was all guts covered. Mm. 
but it's fine now. I suspect Ish. it's the ghosts that we fully know about and are everywhere. Okay, here's what I suggest. Okay. We form up into a circle and just stay awake. Oh, yes. <laughs> a circle, stay awake. Maybe at some point back to back holding knives. Yes. But also. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, no, you. No, 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 Dob, I love it when you have ideas. <laughs> Um, Hit me. Okay, well, what I was going to suggest is, what if we, like, go to the library or something, pa and we, like, barricade one room, we can, like, set up things, we can set up, like, ghost traps and stuff and things where we would know if a ghost was coming. Like, maybe we could, like, fashion a thermometer, like, if you've got any mercury, we could melt it and put it in a thing, and then we would know if it drops, and we would know there's a ghost there. <laughs> and then, like, I could maybe, like, stretch, like, a loot string across one door, and if it, like, vibrates finally, we could be, like, a ghost just walks through it. I love then, it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love the ghost home alone. Also, <laughs> I suggest we find Egbert wherever he's being haunted. Egbert! Yeah, just wait one second. I ordered this big platter of uh, smoked salmon. I'm just going to big no! rip, big <laughs> ribbony sheet of deliciously smoked. Let me just uh, chow down on this. Roll me. <laughs> the same check again. Come on, three. Oh, it's higher. It's a four. Oh, no, no. Delicious, definitely not just like sliced human tongues. Oh, oh. whoa. Mm. Yeah. Whoa. Mm. It's a slightly deli more delicate smoke than you usually get, which can really, really brings out the natural flavor of the salmon. Are you sure you don't want some? <laughs> I'm dry heaving. <laughs> I, can't, I can't bring myself to tell oh. him. So but this place let's is leave him to wonderful. It. Corazon's got his own thing going on. Yes. I suggest He's right, having down a to the kitchen, holiday. did you say? Why I not? Let's I go. I Swing by the kitchen and get Egbert. What do you say? Yeah, 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 yeah. We've got to have Egbert. All, all right. right, let's go. All right. Uh, all right. We race down to the kitchen uh, and, to find and eggs. Find Egbert. <laughs> 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 all right, just us then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can have inspiration for yeah. that. Uh, uh, okay, so you, yeah, you go down to the, the, the kitchen, you find them uh, in the kitchen. Egbert, uh, uh, hi. maybe mm. uh, that sand, that enormous sandwich <laughs> that you've been chowing down on. Right. Let me just take a look at it. Okay, sure. I take a look at Egbert's sandwich. Um, it's definitely a sandwich. It's definitely made out of, like, breads and meats and cheeses and, like, avocados and stuff like that. Great. It just seems very poor quality. And you're not uh, sure it's been refrigerated very well. Uh, Egbert, did you even squeeze this to check it was ripe? No. It no. Looks... Avocados are always ripe. Can you roll oh, me wisdom oh. perception, please? All right. Doesn't believe in ghosts. Thinks avocados are always ripe. <laughs> <laughs> you think you know someone. Three. It's a delicious sandwich. You, like, it is painful to hear you crunching through this avocado. Oh, I also oh, reach over and take some of Corazon's salmon, because that looks great, too. Yeah? Yeah. This... Oh, I, I swipe the mints from the pillow as well. Do you want a mint? Yeah, obviously. I pop uh, a tiny mint into my mouth. Seems crunchy. It's a tooth. <laughs> um... <laughs> OK. All right. We, we proceed to the parlor or library. One of those. Library, parlor? What do you fancy? What? Well, hmm. What if... Defensible location. You know what might be defensible is the what? highest point in the house. The, 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 what, the belfry or something. The Where the flying horror monsters are. Yeah. <laughs> there might be bats. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. OK, well, yeah, like the, the, the library then? The, li the li library. It's got books. I like yeah. books. It's got books. It's you, you can probably, like... Summon more grimoires to do your bidding. Well, what's or I... the kitchen full of all this delicious food. Am I right, Corazon? I mean, am I right, Edgar? This place is great. Yeah, okay. I can whip us up a, a you know three course meal in here. It's so well stocked. Yeah, let me pour you a bottle of this claret. Yeah, Cor Corazon. I'll go for some of that. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> cheers. Yeah, cheers. We drag them. We drag them to the library. <laughs> Bismuth follows behind with a teetering plate, like. Eh! I want to keep a sandwich upright. You can bring your Scooby sandwich, yeah. and then we go to the library. I bring yeah. my Scooby sandwich. OK. And just for fun, just for fun, folks, just to kill the time, why don't we do, I feel like... Um, a wisdom perception check? <laughs> <laughs> why don't we do a quick wisdom? <laughs> no. Uh, I feel like I've got something in one of these grimoires about a kind of seance. 
<gasps> some kind. You know, just in case there were any restless spirits, we might want to talk sure. to them. Um, sure. Just, you know, like a party game. Yeah. I would For love fun. to do a seance. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. What are we, uh, I mean, it. sounds like something I would be able need to, to find do. to find out what's going on. <laughs> okay. Ah, right. seance. It is a fine tradition in Necropolis on Sea. Because, cool. frankly, it's the best way to talk to anyone. <laughs> cool. Because they've all died, dearie. Yes. Good. <laughs> okay, uh, so, like, should we stand in a circle or something, light some candles, like, ring okay. of salt? Okay, link hands and As the hour chance. gets late... So you're in the library? We're in the library. We okay. enter the library, which is a cathedral of books and dusty Absolutely, stuff. it's like... Yeah. The, the, the ladders that you can sort of push along in possibly in a musical number about a small provincial town. They Ooh, I reach, did that immediately. They I reach so the high that, that if you fell off the top, you, would, like, you wouldn't even be a recognisable form anymore. <laughs> you would just be, I guess, what passes for carpet in this town. <laughs> so I'm pushing myself back and forth on one of those ladders already. Whee! Yeah. Okay. So let's call this a uh, strength athletics check. And just don't biff it. That's a 15 plus 4, uh, and I have proficiency, so plus 3 as yeah, well. Surprisingly <laughs> graceful. Uh, Eggman yeah. sort of, like, he manages to chain several ladders together, sort of just go around the room <laughs> in, like, this, this ballet. Um, Bismuth the Crone yells, Oh, isn't this amazing? <laughs> I'm starting to get a bit chilly, so I put on the robe I took from my room and slide my feet into the slippers <laughs> I took. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Just give me a check. Oh, 16. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Get um, ready. Have you got inspiration? You could re-roll. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Can I give him inspiration? <laughs> oh, boy. You put your... You sort of look down, you're like, huh. These slippers look an awful lot like I have just perforated the skin of, like, a rotting cat and stuck my foot through its belly. And it's... I'm going to take another look. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Guys, what the hell? Why didn't you tell me? Corazon, take your place in the seance. There's no time. <laughs> <laughs> and for the cloak, you are wearing a... A what? I, human faces I is what the audience <laughs> said. Human faces? Uh, does that work? Yeah. yeah. Go on, it's just a lot of faces. It's a lot of faces. Oh. <laughs> Curly Joe, good to see you. <laughs> it's a very long coat with like a long old train. If anything, it makes you look like some form of like terrifying pirate king. You don't hate that. Uh, yeah, kind of into it. Oh. How I love my coat of many faces. <laughs> <laughs> it was Steve and Bill and Ian and Fred and John and Jim. And <laughs> Letting out a mighty roar. Henry Charles Fonz or Roy Strip with Cole Cahoon the third at your service comes <laughs> bursting through the door. <laughs> Just checking to see if you need anything. No, everything is fine. Please leave us alone. Fine. fine. <laughs> Please again. <laughs> OK, you're in the library. You're sensible to the fact that you're wearing some terrible things. OK, okay. I throw them on the ground and recoil in horror as I realise the true nature of the house. <laughs> Guys, still I think like... there might be something up with this house. Shut up, Dob. This is important. This house. Dob, stop oh. looking sad. Dob. Dob, 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 Dob. Yes. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Something is up with this house. I don't know if you've noticed. I have not. Have you? Dob, I said shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This guy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, fine. Something's up with this house. Dob, say, say things. I'm fine with it. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I hadn't really noticed, but I guess, <laughs> I guess if you, a clever rogue, think there's something up, maybe I'll reappraise yeah, the no, situation. Yeah, no, I really took a, uh, uh, 
rogue's eye to spot yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, you're super smart. But it's well when done. I put my feet in these cats that suddenly, I suddenly realised <laughs> that was when I first suspected things were <laughs> My <remiss>. first clue <laughs> was <laughs> the dead cat <laughs> slippers. I, um, I respectfully take the cat shoes. And put I've them already in. kicked them across the room in, <laughs> in dismay. It was a reflex, Meryl. Yeah, no, I could just kick them off. I, I mean, sometimes you get home, you want to get comfy, you're just like, wee! <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I still get the cats. Yeah, I find, that's fine. I find a little box and I put it in there and I put a yeah. little flower on it. Yeah, no, that's fine. You sort hair. of, you, you, you gather up the cats. <laughs> <laughs> How One. many? Um, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you gather up the cats, yes, fine, you put them in a box. This myth is like, ah, if you want me to bury that, then I, just, I, just, I, I will. It's my job. Yeah, if you could put them somewhere where they can see the sea. Yep, I'll do it in the morning if we live. Ha! Lovely. <laughs> oh, wait, there's still some cat. Hang on, do you want the rest of it? <laughs> okay. I'm we have a brief funeral for lefty and righty. I can't the press the digitation on my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So at this point, four, 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 four of us. <laughs> no, no, this is very much like the what's the cigar thing. Like. <laughs> Let's just oh, not yeah. go there. <laughs> okay, so we're all, all right, in the library. Are we forming a sound circle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Four of us know about the horrors. Yeah. One of us is having a lovely time One on of the us moving is ladders. Yeah, yeah. Great. Okay. Okay. Well, we need five for a pentagram-style seance. Yep. So I'm. Egg, mate, you got to join in. All right. Link I'll... hands. Come on. This is important. I'll join right. in your party games. Sit on the floor, cross-legged, please. Okay. All right. Okay. Everyone. Jo join hands, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, all right, riffle through the grimoire and uh, say some. I, I invoke an ancient ritual of talking. Who are to we trying to? Who are we trying to summon? Who do we want to talk to? Whoever's there. Previous owners of the house. Yeah. Oh, Where maybe we maybe we could like find a challenger who was killed before or something. Oh, okay, the most recent. Most recent challenger who was killed. Okay, before. so like the kind of last called. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. So we sort of summon the summon the the, the, the angriest, most recent, what most powerful. <laughs> angriest. Well, I assume they're the chillest. The chillest. The most chill recent. <laughs> <laughs> we call upon you, the chillest <laughs> ghost, to 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 speak to us. I yeah, the most dinner. chilling ghost. The most chilling ghost. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you please make me a performance check? Just charisma performance check, please. Oh, okay. All right. Charisma perform. Oh, that's a three. <laughs> but, but, but. Your charisma. Plus five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the tiefling charisma. So that's a, that's a, that's an eight. eight. Wait, charisma uh, performance. Oh. Do you have proficiency in performance? Have, yeah, proficiency, right? So proficiency? yeah, you have yeah, 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 three ten. to that. No, oh, sure, thirty. Eleven. Eleven. Thank you. That's maths. Maths is hard. Maths cool, is great. hard. Um, <laughs> witchcraft. Um, <laughs> um, fine. It's sort of like as Prudence speaks, the floor around you sort of seems to light up in the shape of a pentagram and uh, uh, an eerie light seems to sort of come from the middle of it, and then slowly rising up comes this sort of shapeless form of a, a man that swings back and forth. His hair is long and sort of dangles as if he's floating in the water. He has a beard braided, and that too is sort of swinging, and he goes, hey. <laughs> look, Edward, Egbert, a ghost. It's a ghost, Egbert, look. I'm too busy eating my sandwich. It's a hologram. <laughs> With the dragon. It's Aurora Borealis. In a minute, I'm eating a sandwich. Delicious sandwich. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's a dude ghost. It's a dude bro uh, ghost. It's summoned a chat. <laughs> it's a broast. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. It's OK, guys. I speak bro. Hey, bro. Hey. 
So we were just wondering. We're staying in this totally gnarly house. Yeah. <laughs> there are all like ghosts all over the place. Oh my and, God! Tell me about it. Well, I was hoping you could give me like the four one one on this place because. <laughs> Can I? Duh. So, yeah. What is this place's deal, bro? <laughs> so, like, it's totally chill. It's, like, kind of like a co-op, but it's kind okay. of like a squat. Like, if you survive the night, you get, like, the whole place. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, I bro, died. But... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, But, like, you're, like, dead and stuff. Right? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so how, how did that even happen, Oh, <laughs> I, like, burned to death. You burned it down? Yeah. Dude, that is sick! <laughs> yeah. It was, like, <laughs> immensely painful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dogs Mellow is harshed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Am I crushing your vibe? I can, like, go. You just, like, de-summon me in that. You know, yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to kill the mood. This is, like, let's face it, probably your last, like, you know, night of life. Right, uh, okay, dude, you give me, like, one piece of advice. Yeah. You're going to give me, like, I'm in this house. I don't want to burn alive. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, so what do you got for me, bro? <laughs> like, stay out of the basement, duh. The ba okay, bro. <laughs> yeah. Man, this has been tight. It's, beat. like, gnarly. Oh, oh. <laughs> did, you, did you see? Did no, you? I was eating a sandwich. Oh. Hey, you guys it's don't really like any... It requires my full attention. I really want to savour this one. Okay. All right, uh, folks. Right. Guys, the best I... defense is a good offense. Let's head to the basement. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, dude, like, um, are you like a pirate? He's sort of, he's poked his head halfway back through the wall, <laughs> by the way. It's like, are you like a pirate? Yeah, dude. Cool. Yeah, dude. You know, dude. there's like one who lives here, dude. Like, you could talk, like, um, capstans and, and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, peace. <laughs> <laughs> he just... <laughs> he disappears. He dematerializes. I hope forever. <laughs> <laughs> Summon him again right now. <laughs> <laughs> so long, Chad the ghost or whatever you're called. <laughs> I we popped the last out. olive of my sandwich in my mouth. Mm. Make me a... Make me a... a, a the, the check. <laughs> Wisdom perception. Twelve. Yeah. Minus like, one. Oh, yeah, minus one for wisdom. Yeah, eleven. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Unfortunately, you still pass. You're like... Could have sworn that. The, the rest of those olives were nice. Maybe I got a bad olive. Like, bad that one olive. tasted like it came from a jar. Mmm. It's yeah. just not that nice. from a jar. Yeah. yeah. You look over at Bismuth and it's like, that is a lot of like Fresh poor survival. quality meat to be yeah. consuming. No, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and like Coruscant Baena is like covered in goo. Hey. I'm really not sure about your recent fashion choices, Coruscant. You don't like my goo? No, I don't <laughs> think it's working for you. All right. Thanks, hey, for, hey, the, thanks cool. for the notes. Just wanted to mention it. A friend would tell a friend, right? About the goo. Yeah. I'm aware of the goo, Egbert. No, I just don't think it suits you. All right. The wrong and the face coat. Oh, the face coat. Mm. Right. I was worried for a second. No, that's fine. Thank you. That's all right. I cast calm emotions. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone like mellow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I cross out the note I've made saying kill Egbert. Oh, it is. Uh, so, you're still in the library. Um, you're still, like, in your summoning circle. What do? I'm going to have a okay, look around. Okay, so let me translate from bro. He went in the basement and burned to death. He said, stay out of the basement. So... Basement, then. You want to you go to the basement? Yes. I want to go up. Dob wants to go to the basement. Well, clearly... Look, look every... No, no, no. Everyone who has taken this challenge before yes. right, has died in the basement. Has died in the basement. But yes. like, if we hadn't heard the word basement, is there any chance we would have gone to the basement? No. So clearly, something is going to call us to the basement at some point. So I say we get the jump on whatever is down there about to call us to the basement. I'm up for going to the basement. I don't see why not. I mean, if we are, we are forearmed with knowledge, we can go down to the basement in a very 
<laughs> yes. We can go down to the basement in a very stealthy, careful way. Ooh, 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 ooh. We could take the secret passages down to the basement and we could peek in through the, the portraits in the basement. Yeah, they keep all the good <laughs> portraits in the basement. <laughs> yeah, so that they don't get damaged by like mildew and stuff. Yeah. Because it's dry down there. Yeah. Dry in the basement. <laughs> this all checks out. <laughs> I, think, um, I feel like that's a good way no, to see what's in the basement. Clearly without... this house has some kind of unfinished business that we need to finish, so it stops being haunted. Maybe that's in the oh, basement. Oh, uh, yeah, Bismuth mentioned unfinished business. It's funny you should mention that. Should, we, we have, we're, chat, we're just chatting in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. unfinished business, yes, there's yeah. loads to it. I probably should have told you guys but that, did, actually. Did, 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 you but know, you know ghosts now, sandwich. suddenly? Is this, is no, this... he just knows about unfinished business. Well, why would it matter if there weren't ghosts? You mean unfinished like unfinished business? I don't how know. Is, like it's a challenge, isn't it? There's probably like activities and things. Unfinished biz yeah, bismuth. She hasn't finished the sandwich. Oh, oh yes, no one's finished me yet. <laughs> Guys. What? Here's what I think we should oh, brainstorm. <laughs> how does a house have unfinished business? Like, did it not get painted all the way or <laughs> it didn't achieve its money? Are you a decorating montage? <laughs> didn't achieve its market value because it didn't have a beautiful kitchen island. Everybody, yes. please make me a wisdom perception check. <laughs> One. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> that is a... 21. 13. 14. Four minus one is three. Egbert and Dob lock eyes across the room and go, grouting. Grouting. You <laughs> both notice that the, all of the stones in these stone walls, oh they fit God. together well enough, but there is no grouting. Someone right. really ought to finish this place. That must be it. It will probably take you a while. So but let's face it, it will probably take around. you through till morning. And yeah. then you can just carry on once you own the house. You know? Perfect. Yeah, right. You can finish the business. Everyone else, you hear um, sort of, it's almost like it's coming from a long way away and underwater and it's echoing. You hear accordion music. Just accordion music? Accordion music. Guys, you hear accordion music? Corazon, is that you? No, no, this isn't me this time. <laughs> it's a trumpet, really, isn't it? You hear trumpet music, <laughs> sod it. <laughs> wait, 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 no, it's not an accordion, it's a trumpet. Hang no, on, it's I, definitely yeah. an accordion. No, wait, it's, it's definitely. a definitely. It's a corn, yep. Yeah. yeah, that was a cornet, for sure. Dob and I have already started grouting. You, yeah, they're, they're already grouting. You hear softly, um, it sounds like someone's playing a sea shanty on an accordion. Oh my, there's a, Dob, are you hearing this? Say Dob, what now? grouting for a second. What, okay, but only for one second. Okay, time's up. Uh, dexterity sleight of hand checks from both of you, please. Would be a 12. Uh, 9 plus 13, 13 11. 11? <clears throat> no, that's a pretty decent, decent job. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> okay. I'm just, the pointing is just, yeah. uh, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dob. Mm. Dob, yeah. stop grouting for 15 seconds. All right. Can, now listen, can you can hear, you hear that the music? accordion music? You yes. like actually music? A cornet now. I can hear it. Yes. I can hear that accordion music now you pointed it's out. Sea shanty. It, is it? Yeah. It does sound a little. And 15. <laughs> <laughs> Do you recognise the sea shanty? Is it, is it familiar to Do you? Do I recognise the sea shanty? Just make me a straight up wisdom check. <laughs> Just roll wisdom. Uh, 18. Dob, do you need some more grout over there? Yes, please, Egbert. I you slide know? a bucket of grout over to Dob. What's Thank in the you, bucket buddy? of grout, Johnny? Hmm? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's basically like blood that's like two-thirds of the way toward becoming black pudding of its own volition. Better than the last grouting experience. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, you... This, this is a shanty that... It's, it's weird, you almost feel like you're being pulled in two different directions at once, because you're like... Like I'm... an accordion. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cornet. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's fine. You know this is a sea shanty. You know that this is a sea shanty that used to be sung an awful lot. You, in all of your years on the sea as a pirate, have never actually heard somebody sing it. You don't know what the words are, but you swear that when you were a boy, when he wasn't paying attention, your father would hum it. It's a familiar melody line. Guys, this, this song feels 
feels familiar, but in a way I can't put my finger on. It, I don't think it's good. What do you... Let, let's try and get some... Grouton can wait for a second. Let's try and get some associated memories. Do you remember... What does it make you think of? What does it make you picture? It's, I, it's not... Whenever he was in a bad mood, I feel like he would hum this, this song. He was in a bad mood a lot. Right. So it's, so it's the bad mood dad theme. Yeah, bad dad. Bad dad theme. Okay. All right, we've got to go down to that basement and find out what the hell is doing this. Okay. All right. You coming with me? Yes. Can you stop grouting for a second? Yes, yeah, no, I'm with you, Corazon. You're way up on the basement plan all, all of a right. sudden, which makes I'm me I'm up on the basement too. Let's go. I want to get yeah. down to this damn basement. All right, okay. Uh, Corazon, you stand, you leave the summoning circle. The minute you leave the circle, the music stops. Okay. That's extremely ominous. <laughs> what is? Says Bismuth, who is just still sat there working away on a colossal sandwich. What's that, Bismuth? <laughs> what do you want? What is ominous? The fact that the song that my father used to hum, the ancient sea shanty that's bad, is coming from beyond the grave. What about this isn't ominous, Bismuth? Oh, it sounds nice to me. I hear it still. You hear it? Oh! Bismuth? Yes? We want you to walk to wherever the music is loudest, and we'll follow you. Yes. All right. We're like hot and cold this situation. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like Transformers Gen 1. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she gets up, <laughs> she's turned into a jet. Uh, <laughs> 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 she flies slowly out of the circle <laughs> and stops and goes, ah, I hear it not. So you can only oh, hear it in the it's the circle. Can we move the circle with us? Why do you want to go to the basement so much? The music's here. The music's in the circle. Hold on, I'll see if I can hear it again. She sort of goes <laughs> and does like a cool flip turn. And she's like hovering now in the circle. She's like, yep, and there it is. It's a jump jet, is she? <laughs> and she's an old woman again. Okay, she's so the same voice as Starscream. <laughs> <laughs> A right. little heavy on the electrons, electron. <laughs> Guys, what, it's, um, the only time I've heard this song was from my dad, and what if he's dead and in the basement? Well, I mean, you love that, right? No? Okay. It's a complicated situation, <laughs> but it's a little, I can't keep up whether you want to kill him or make up with him. It's a yes. little more nuanced, Egbert, I think. If a summoning circle this be, perhaps a summoning we should attempt. She turns into a truck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Would you like to reattempt summoning the source of the bad dad theme? Yeah, let's yeah. summon the source of this. The source of this shanty. But as far as we know, Corazon's father is alive. Well, I'm, let's find out. I mean, oh, we kicked, we kicked oh, him off into the ocean. Oh, this is going to be a real bad way to find out. <laughs> Why oh. don't we go? <laughs> Oh, it's the, Ven it's the Venga bus, everyone. <laughs> Buckle up. All right. Why don't we just go down to the basement? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's let's, let's reattempt the summoning. Summon, summon, what summon. What is your dang fascination with the basement where all the murders happen? I don't happen. want to go to the basement anymore. I want to do the summoning Good, now. Good, great. Egbert, you're the right. only one on team basement. So I go down to the basement. <laughs> <laughs> I cool. pull out a T-shirt that says team basement. <laughs> Fine, I don't know yeah. where I pulled it out from, and then I go down to the basement. It's, yeah, so you, you pull on a T-shirt that has, like, don't be a dog crossed out, yeah. and it now says, team basement. Yep. Um, and, all right, you start heading down to the basement. The rest of you are still in We've the summoning We've got five with bismuth. We're going to summon. So, ah, a summoning with bismuth. A yes. summoning with summon bismuth. All right, take bismuth's hand, please. Take the hand of the crone, the transformer crone. <laughs> Man, I'm in the Marilyn. right part of the circle here. <laughs> All right. It doesn't have to be hands. <laughs> hands is fine. Hands is fine. Well, I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm I only every... mentioned because I fancied turning into a plane again. <laughs> <laughs> take a I, wing I, of Dobbin. Can you take yeah. me back to the guts room? <laughs> She turns into a plane. Right. <laughs> so okay, now we, we can all hear the distant sea shanty. Aye. All right, I'd, li I'd like everyone to focus on the, the very distant, very ancient, ethereal sound of that 
that faraway sea shanty. And then in, uh, well, I guess in, in the common tongue, because I don't know what, what language to go for otherwise. Actually, no, no, why don't you, Corazon? I think it, it should be you. Why don't you speak to whatever there is to be spoken to? Summon something for us. Is anyone there? Who are all these people? <laughs> um, you hear the accordion music for a second sort of falters like and then carries on and seems to get louder and louder and louder and then suddenly erupting from the floor in a sea spray of like of, of water <clears throat> comes a figure that is very recognizably a pirate. Um, and they erupt from the floor and go, Ah, who summons me? He did. <laughs> <laughs> what is it ye want? Why do you disturb my rest? Why do you bring me to this disgraced, shameful place? We heard the song you were singing. What song is that? Tell us. It's my favorite song. Yeah, what is it, though? I am <laughs> thinking on the spot because I am a pirate and sometimes that takes improvisation. Can <laughs> you believe thinking I actually make I money out sometimes of that takes hey. improvisation? Thinking on the spot because I am a pirate and sometimes that takes improvisation. Ah, yes! <laughs> I'll be honest, after 200 years, it gets a little bit samey. <laughs> so I'll thank ye not to sing it again. At least for 20, 25 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm starting the clock. <laughs> what's, what's your name, pirate? Captain. Cool. Just Captain. Captain Milk Toast. I beg your pardon. Did I stutter? <laughs> Boy? For the, the, the... I, I'm a captain. But my name is also Captain Milk Toast. What a coincidence. Oh, this is wonderful. We must catch up. So. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see he speaks thieves can't. Well, yes, of course. I mean, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was a very famous sea pirate. So when, so when were you operating as a pirate, dear boy? When oh, was... well, I died 200 years ago. Oh. And uh, I obviously had already built this incredible mansion with my ill-gotten games. So this was, this was you who set this whole thing up? Yes. It's, and I, okay. Oh, it's so, entirely mine. You're going, to, you're going to absolutely laugh when you hear this. <laughs> my name is also Milk Toast. It's possible you and I are related. I'm also a pirate carrying on the family business. We're exactly the same and as good as each other. What does your father do? He's, uh, he's not a pirate himself. Bastard! <laughs> <laughs> he floats incredibly close to you and goes, Ah, I see it in your eyes. The blood that runs in your veins once flowed in mine. A milk toast ye be. He tries to take off one of your rings. Yeah, let me, let me. They're really stuck on quite well. <laughs> ah, that's mine now. <laughs> that's the best one! In fairness, I warned ye. He's good. I like this now guy. Listen. He's damn good. <laughs> Can he be the new pirate? Oh. I was oh. a pirate. Oh. The Tis best there ever was. And I built this house here. In Necropolis on Sea. I named it that. It was a joke. I was very good at killing people. And I said to my son, you'll follow the family trade. You'll go out, and a pirate he shall be. And after I died, he renounced the family trade. He became a fop, a merchant, a soft boy. And a curse befell the house. It killed him. He burned alive. 
and the house was doomed to stand empty until a milk toast, a real milk toast, could regain the family trade and return us to our former glory. Your father, does he live? Uh, as far as I'm aware, I mean, we did push him out into the open ocean in a boat. Cool. Yeah, well, it, was, it was pretty cool. Also, I robbed him. Right <laughs> yeah, it was pretty sweet. Nice. <laughs> anyway, all you need to do is survive until morning. And the curse should be lifted with a milk toast in the proper family line. Okay. All you need to do is ensure that not one of you enters the basement. <laughs> Egbert! <laughs> no! That's yours, it probably smells bad now. Um, you, you push open the door to the basement. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> And uh, inside, all is all is all is cold um, and dusty, and there's like a like a, um, a sled in the corner. That pff, when did that ever get used? You know, like just a <laughs> bunch of crap yeah. they should really get rid of. Uh, and Box there is wires, you know. there is some form of boiler, like oh. a, a big sort of arcane-looking boiler. It's actually covered in a lot of runic script. Um, which is quite hard to read because one side of it has been completely punched out. Oh. Um, and as you walk in, have you ever heard the ballad, or you have, we've referenced it earlier, the ballad of Home Alone? Yes. You know the bit when the young page <laughs> yes. go, goeth the into squire. the basement yes. and the boiler's all like... Yes. And it lights up of its own volition? Yes. Roll me initiative. Okay. <laughs> I love fire. This is brilliant. This is like home for me. 18. Yeah, fair dues. <laughs> OK, so um, I guess all three of the flame skulls are quite busy getting out of the furnace. Flame skulls, you say? Yeah, they look like this. Like, oh, OK. They sort of um, wasn't lying. May I? Flame skulls. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, sure. For those of you in the back, stick with me. It's a big old skull wreathed in flame. You've played Doom. I know. <laughs> right? yeah, there we go. Are we talking um, human-sized skull or bigger? Hmm? Are we talking human-sized skull or bigger? Skull. That's a good question. They're quite big. Like, nah, 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 nah. they're that okay. big, you know? Skulls, skull. but big. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And yeah. more fire. <laughs> um, your go. Right. They um, sort of, they, they appear in front of you and give out an otherworldly shriek. Uh, I try and grab the first one and pull its jaw off. Okay. What I love about this is they're not ghosts. No ghosts in this entire mansion. I can't the, believe I haven't seen a single ghost. The flaming otherworldly skull isn't a ghost. No, it's a flaming otherworldly skull. It was a flaming otherworldly head that died and became a flaming otherworldly skull. Did it though? Yes. No, annoyingly, <laughs> no. I think it probably just right. a, Let me explain to you. When a mummy skull and a daddy skull love each other very much, yeah, they go ask on. very nicely. Could go on for a <laughs> baby skull, and then that's the where place. skulls come yeah, from. Exactly. <laughs> Make right. me a strength athletics check, please. Sure. There's nothing sure. in here that says you can't just try and grab one. So yeah, that's good. Yeah, and I'm going to pull its jaw off. <laughs> I'm not going to pull its jaw off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. It's really going to hurt me. Uh, that's a two, but plus four. For uh, it's my strength, mm. right? So that's mm. six, and then plus three for my proficiency, strength athletics, right? Yeah. Yeah, pl uh, so like nine. Nine? Nine? Yeah. Nah. Oh. You sort of, it was screaming at you, so it was like, ah, jaw down. Yep. You sort of made an upward swipe, and it just like clicked <laughs> its big old teeth together, and so it was like. Well, that hurts when you do that. I've done that before. I've knocked my chin and my teeth into it. To be honest, doing it then for effect, A, wasn't as loud as I hoped, and B, was quite painful. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I'll give you that. Damage. 300 points of damage. You've done one point of damage <laughs> to one it's of them. Or rather, skulls. you've incited one of them to do one point of damage to itself. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. So, presumably, 
like, it's going well in the basement for England. Yeah. <laughs> we, right, we, we're I'm, still up. Yeah, I'm going to snap back to you just in one second. Uh, I just want to attack it uh, with, face, with three flame skulls, <laughs> if I may. <laughs> just <laughs> real quick. <laughs> yeah. Let me attack it. What have the flame skulls, skulls got to say <laughs> about it? Ooh. Not the one with his mouth shut. Nothing. OK, you get hit once. OK. Uh, basically, uh, the flame skulls. Hang on, one sec. I'm, I think, immune to fire, by the way. Fire resistant. But what kind of damage do they do? Is it biting or flaming or...? I mean, in retrospect, you sent the best possible person down into the basement. <laughs> <laughs> I don't um, think scent is the correct term. Can I borrow 2d6, please? 2d6? Yeah, because uh, I've already got one. All right, we're good, we're good. I'm just curious. I don't nine. Eleven of some So um, it it does it would do fifteen points of fire damage if you weren't immune to fire. So you want me to roll two d six? No. Oh, okay. you're fine. Okay. It basically goes <laughs> and hits you with fire, and you're like, yes, cool. Mm, I fire. too am into fire. I see this combat wrapping up very coming. quickly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we will go back upstairs, actually. Um, yeah, everyone is upstairs still talking to a pirate who, to be fair, goes, ah. he sort of sh shudders and goes, um. It's better with the hat. Oh, sorry, yeah. What am I thinking? Uh, vis a vis the basement. Yeah. I don't know if I have this weird feeling in my head because I just said basement and, you know, like, confirmation bias. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. Or is there any chance you sent somebody down into the Again, basement? Again, scent is a strong term <laughs> for what just happened. Um, well, what just happened? Our, our pal Egbert... Sent himself to the basement. Yeah, he may have run down into the basement. Mm. He gets excited. Does he have a death wish? <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's in the right place, to be fair. <laughs> Okay. Is he vulnerable to fire? Well, that's the no. great thing about Egbert. Oh. Is he actually immune to fire? Resistant. So, resistant. resistant. Yeah. I mean, you could go help him, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could. Okay. Or. <laughs> or. Got any cool family stories? I. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Let's settle in for one. <laughs> now, I've always wondered where the no milk toast came from. OK, uh, no, I've got this. <laughs> I, I remember it was my father's 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 father. Fond of nicknames he were. Aye. Very deadly he were. Demanded his entire crew call him killed most because he loved to kill. <laughs> Unfortunately, he also loved to drink, and he slurred quite badly. <laughs> <coughs> and, um... <laughs> you get the gist. You get the gist. I wonder how your friend's getting on now. OK. That was so good, I think we should all go down to the base. Ah, Ooh, tremendous. As a treat. <laughs> OK. All right, here's what I'm thinking. Hey, um, um, yeah, carry on, sorry. You mentioned fire of some kind. Aye. All right, here's what I'm thinking. Meryl went, cat form, in my pocket. I'm going to jump through the wall into the secret passageway that Prudence and I earlier used to get out of this. Oh, yes. And then, you know, like it. in Ye Matrix, that bit where they just slide down the inside of a wall. In Ye Matrix? Yeah, the Ballad of Ye Matrix. Ah, it's a famous shanty. He's heard of it. Don't you want to be cool like him? You are the one. <laughs> 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 Anyway, carry on. All right, so it'll be like do, 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 down the inside of the wall until we get to the bottom where there's presumably a basement, and then I will just push backwards as hard as I can, firing myself through the wall. Meryl, when then you uncap form water. <laughs> I, yeah, I can make water, yeah. You can make water. I can make water. Extinguish the skulls. I will make water. It's a plan, I, mean, I love it. Let's do it. Let's get into the walls. I have two things to say about this plan. Number one. It's great, let's go. It seems expedient. I imagine it'll get you there in about, oh, I don't know, six seconds. Yeah. Number two, making water. I don't really see what pissing all over the place has to do with killing a flame skull. You salty old sea dog, we're not talking about a trip to the head. We're talking about druidic magic. Of the kind you can only imagine. Okay. 
Come along, it's going to be wild. Yeah. I tell you what, we'll set off now. You just whoop down through the floor. You should watch this. It's going and to don't cool. worry, Grandfather, I'll be there doing cool things with my rapier. And then I kind of slash the air coolly. Ah, I expected nothing less. Yarr. He whooshed straight through the floor. All right, I'm right. Win. Are you good with the plan? So we're going to go back to you. Yeah. Uh, like Egbert, what are you doing? Uh, not looking at where the ghost has appeared through the door, obviously, through the floor, sorry. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's my turn. It's my turn in combat, right? Yes. I'm going to grab two of the skulls and try and smash them together. <laughs> where are all your attacks, Three Stooges bits? <laughs> Hubristic? <laughs> Just tell me what to roll, man. A d20. Yep. And then I'm just trying. Two plus four plus three. He goes for the eyes. It's nine again. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it beats that three. Yeah. So for the other one, well, no, don't worry, that's a one. Yeah. Yes. So you're going to smash them into one another, yes. are you? One in one hand, one in the other. Crack. Like a pair of cymbals doing, Sod I assume, book. massive damage. <laughs> 1d4 plus strength modifier, we're on the clock! Roll a d10 <laughs> twice! <laughs> Roll a what, sorry? A d10, a d10 twice. twice. What are twice. these ones? The 10-sided one. <laughs> Thanks. Four. Uh. One. Uh. Cool, so one bad. of them's now on 38 hit points. <laughs> one's on 36. Fine. <clears throat> Um, they ineffectively fire fire at you. <laughs> okay. And at the end of that combat round... <laughs> Dob bursts through the wall. Dob bursts... <laughs> actually, hang on. Just before the end of that combat round, a pirate turns up just going... <laughs> and then uh, a half-orc with a cat on his back bursts through a wall. Backwards. Whoosh, like that. And I fling Merylwen towards the skulls. I don't need to be that close. It's, it's cannon. <laughs> he said it. Okay. <laughs> Literal cannon. <laughs> way, way, way. Okay. Turn back into my elf self. Uh huh. And I cast Create Water. Thanks, whoever that was. <laughs> Are you sure that wasn't outside? <laughs> 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 I think, oh, it was. I think okay. whoever was outside just intuited that something yeah. cool yeah. happened. <laughs> Woo! Okie dokie. Roll that four times. Ten? What's your spell save, DC? That's a ten. So uh, that's... Eleven. Okay, well, they've both biffed it. Three. No, is that a seven or a one? So you rolled it. That's a... One. one. I think that's a one. Yeah, there's a seven. Give me two more. I forgot there are three of them. Maths. <laughs> <clears throat> Three. Edge of your seat stuff. Witchcraft! Two. There's some more, like, basically, a cat turns into an elf and then just sort of goes and sort of spritzes three <laughs> skulls that are like, ah! And they're sort of like, Nye. One of them seems to take it a bit harder, but they're still a bit like... Are they extinguished? Are they still on fire? No! Massively on fire. Ah. Got flame skulls. Righty-ho. And it's, it's basically, it's like, it's like a cat turned into a, an elf and went, nee, nee. <laughs> like, you just come back from the toilet, it's like, ooh, did I wash my hands or did I have a terrible accident? <laughs> that, but magic damage. There we go. Perfect. Um, how are you getting into the room? Do, are you exploding through the wall with them? I mean, I'm, I'm not exploding. The wall has been exploded. Yeah. We peer through the hole in the wall uh -huh. and then gingerly pick my way into the room <laughs> after them. No, after you, Corazon. <laughs> please, please. No, please, really, go first. Through the hole in the wall. Okay, yes, through the there hole in go. the wall. Okay, fine. Uh, I'll tell you what, everyone roll me initiative. Oh, all right. 11. Uh, 12. 16. Also 16. Don't forget to wrap it. 11. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, thanks, Meryl. When? <laughs> when I said 11, I meant 16. Oh, right. Who rolled a 12? I can do this by process of elimination. Meryl when? We'll just um, start an entirely new round. Prudence and Coruscant, you both rolled the same. Do what, what you want to do about it. Go for it. Okay. I uh, use spider climb to 
launch myself through the newly created hole in the library wall yep. and climb through the crawl space, head down first into the basement. Yep. And I emerge onto the ceiling through the hole, onto the basement ceiling upside down. Yep. I'm like, sup, hi, hi. <laughs> Pirate ghost, hi, Egbert. Also, Hola. hi. Egbert, look at hi. this ghost. Hi. Egbert, look at this ghost, hi. Hi, it's a trick of the light. It's a trick of the light. <laughs> <laughs> he makes a vulgar gesture at you. It's a trick of the light, you think? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Now, the, uh, the three big, quite big, flaming skulls, yep. flame skulls. Yep. Yep. So I just imagined them as a band. <laughs> the, flaming the flaming skulls. The flaming skulls, you know. Yeah. I mean, originally they were flamey and the skulls, but then, like, flamey hit the bottle too hard. It was okay. like, you know what? All right. Flamey the fire the just went out of him, you know? Would you say they're, um... <laughs> Would you say they're t uh, 20, 30, 40 feet apart? No, they're quite closely they're close. bunched together. Tight grouping of skulls. Yes. I managed Great. to smash two of them together, just yeah, not very I mean, well. Two of them are together, presumably not far from a, 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 a paladin. OK, but, are know. my uh, colleagues <laughs> at least 20 feet away from them? Or are they very close to them? I don't think I'm I, 20 look. feet away. You're, uh, your, like, Egbert is definitely not 20 ah, foot away from them. Sorry. The ah, rest of them, ah. Egbert, so. you owe me, because I'm not going to cast you into the void between the worlds. <laughs> right. But thanks. Man. I mean, I could probably nerf it. <laughs> I'm hearing a lot of do it anyway from the crowd. Do it, do Wait. it, do it. All right. <laughs> from the, the, the void between the worlds, I hear do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And I cast Hunger of Hadar on uh, the triple flame skulls. Okay, dokie. Would you like to know about it? I would love to. Well, I can pass it to you, or I can read Ooh. it out while you look it up. Uh, I'll pass it to you. Yeah, sure. And I'll, I'll riff on it. I open a gateway to the world between... There's a space between worlds. You are going to have to use your pickled octopus tentacle. I use a pickled octopus tentacle from okay. my back pocket. Sure. And, uh, True. okay, now, Johnny, do you want to take it away? <laughs> Yeah, um, everyone who isn't in the dark between the stars yes. hears, not my words, a cacophony of soft whispers and slurping noises. That's the sound. Slurping noises. OK. I Any turn around and go, do you hear slurping? Any creature that starts its turn in the area takes 2d6 cold damage. Any creature that ends its turn in the area must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take 2d6 acid damage as milky, otherworldly tentacles rub against it. Who wrote this? <laughs> um, joke. OK, cool. Egbert. Yes. You and, like, three skulls are, are pulled through a gateway into the dark between stars. OK. Oops. I wonder if this will I change... I don't like it. <laughs> will this change Egbert's view of the paranormal? <laughs> oh, I think he believes in the paranormal, just not, not ghosts. <laughs> I mean, I'm just looking around going, identical. whoa, and then I point to one of the skulls and I'm like, can you see all this stuff as well? <laughs> They're all like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one weird thing that's happened in this house. <laughs> it was Everything all nice sandwiches. Normal. normal, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> and then a I had a nice sandwich. Of <laughs> I, was, I was on some ladders earlier doing some stuff on the ladders, and it went really well. Basically, Prudence has cast absolutely everything into the dark between stars. Like, Prudence has cleared the room, apart from a crone and a pirate ghost. Wait, 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 but, uh, these guys are OK, aren't they? They're fine. Oh, no, oh. it's just you lot, a crone and a pirate ghost. Oh, oh, good. Sorry. Coruscant, what are you going to do? Can, can I attack anything that's in the space between? I guess you could probably pitch things into the dark between stars, yeah. Right. I mean, you might hit Egbert if you throw something in there. I assume, <laughs> you, can, I assume you can see them. All right. I'm going to use uh, Mage Hand yep. to chuck my water skin into the void to try and extinguish some of these stupid flaming skulls. Okay, fine. <laughs> Didn't fancy um, using a Mage Hand to drag me out or anything. Thanks. And you get advantage on this, uh, so that's a, a, a dex check for the lobbing. So I, I can roll twice and take the higher? Yeah. Two. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay, well, that's a three plus four. So that's, a, that's an advantage. And that is 16. Okay, great. You, you do indeed hit them. Roll a d10 and add your, uh, da, 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 if we're doing improvised weapon, strength bonus. Add my strength bonus. All right. Yes. Go, 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 go. Okay, that is uh, 10. You just, okay, cool. Oh, it's nine, nine plus one. Nine plus, yeah, fine. Uh, Meryl, when you sort of see... Corazon 
like whip out a water skin that frankly you've never seen him use. Like water. Yeah, you haven't, se you haven't seen my mess on. kit, my backpack, or my bedroll either. Or your 50 or foot my 50 of hemp feet and rope. <laughs> that would have been useful. Shout you could out have sent that in and dragged me out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody gets some. Um, he just sort of langs this, this water skin into the dark between stars, which just tears open. They'd not and be like... full of rum secretly. <laughs> <laughs> Sod it, it's full of rum. And it makes them like ignite more, but in a bad way. OK. Well, if I'd sure. known that, I'd have cast grease. <laughs> There's always next turn. Hooray! Uh, so yeah, they, they sort Hang of recoil and do a bit of shrieking. And they're not, uh, frankly, they're not very happy about any of this. Um, and then it's their turn, um, and what's the... They've got disadvantage on all attacks if they're grappled, as I remember off the top of my head. As well you know, as Johnny. Well. Can you know. tell, what's the radius of the um, thing thingy, thingy? They need to, what's never the mind. Radius? They, 20 feet. It doesn't matter, they need to escape the grapple. Uh, biffed it. Biffed it. Biffed it. That's a one. <laughs> it's the triple biff. That's another one. Am I hugging them really tightly now? It's the, the tentacles, I, I think. I mean, uh, I, I kind of feel like you've got your arms around the other yeah. two as if you're hammered. But really, <laughs> not to do you down, but it's definitely the dark between stars that's doing the worst of it. This is incredible. None of them managed to escape the grapple. <laughs> Hey! Oh my guys, we, so, we're in the gap between the stars. We need um, to stick together. They should have taken damage at the start of the turn. Yes. Um, and they're definitely taking damage at the end of the turn. Tell me what I'm rolling or what you're rolling. You are rather. rolling. You are rolling. For the rolling. start of the turn, 2d6 cold damage for each skull. And for okay. the end of the turn, 2d6 acid damage. Okay. As, other, as a milky, otherworldly tentacle rub against okay. each skull. Can you roll me 2d6 twice 2D6 and we'll just apply twice. the same damage okay, to all of them? All right. Because we're okay. running out of two. That's a six, and that's a one, and that's a one, and that's a, come on, six, five. 13. Unlucky for Egbert. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shh. Oh, sorry. You're immune to in acid and cold, didn't, right? Mm, mm. No. no. Just you didn't try and get out of the grapple in furnace. Sorry? So you didn't try and get out of the grapple in furnace. You want me to roll, roll a something? d20, yes, please. A okay. d20, right, 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 right. Eight, no, three. <laughs> Looks a bit like an eight. Never do mind, I, take 13 I, points I, of do damage. Do I add anything please. to that? Hmm? Do I add anything to that? Dex, Dex. 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 Oh, there we go. Uh, plus two, five. 13 points of damage, please. 13. Okay. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. What just happened? I didn't hit. 13? You, you hit Egbert 13, 13 points of damage. Points of damage. Yeah. As, as milky, otherworldly tentacles rubbed Rub against, against him. Rubbed against Egbert, right. This spell is concentration based, so you can stop it at any time. It, yes. It's fine. Ooh, I'm on ooh. 37. I've got loads. Oh, oh yeah. I, I shot into the void. You're actually quite tanky. Okay, Egbert, uh, Meryl, it's your turn. There? Sorry. I, okay. um, I, nope. uh, that hurt. Ow. Oh, so, sorry. Uh, um, but it hurt the skulls too, so I don't know. All you, right. You make the decision. Oh, All right. well. Meryl, let's keep this going. Oh, okay, oh. okay. Right. Oh, what should I do? What should I do? Meryl, would it be easier for you if you could see the skulls and Egbert? I can, I can, st I can chuck I can stuff in the thing. That's what I did. It's oh, fun. All right. Prudence, if you cancel the spell... I'm concentrating on it, yes, I can end it, if you would prefer. Well, no, but I'm and thinking... Can, I just don't want to hit Egbert. Chuck your 50 feet of hemp and rope in there, get him out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could hoist I could Egbert do. out on a hemp and rope. It, if, It'll if, be the first time anyone's ever used their 50 feet of hemp and rope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to throw uh, rope in to get Egbert out. Remember to hold one end. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Just throw it, all of it in. Do you, have <laughs> do you have proficiency in hemp and rope? Uh, no. Oh, um, it's the state. I tie it to an arrow. Yeah, sod it. Yeah, go for it. Great. Uh, maybe <laughs> next. An arrow <laughs> thuds into Wigman's face. I can see this going maybe badly a deck check, for me. Add your proficiency modifier, so you're adding seven to the draw. Okay, so that. Merylwen, I crossed it out. 23. It it. Yes, it's like basically uh, Merylwen fires an arrow, um, which kind of on reflex, like if it were traveling at the normal pace, would just like <laughs> between your eyes. But as it enters the dark between stars, the, the, the arrowhead starts to sort of like disintegrate, the wood starts to peel back and splinter, um, and you're able to just kind of snick, just grab the rope and the arrow cool. out of the knot air. Mm. Nice. 
Good. Um, Dob and Egbert, you both roll the same, so you can decide who goes first. Uh, well, I'm going to tie the rope around my waist. Good idea. Uh, I don't know if that takes a turn. If it does, no. so be it. Not, not at half nine. No, it doesn't. <laughs> right. <laughs> Egbert, I feel you should probably take the turn. So I bundle the two skulls into w between one arm, like this, yep. and tie the rope expertly around my waist. Why are you, you, you want to bring them out? out? Yeah, are you are rescuing the skulls? Let's see where he's going with this. <laughs> I've been given some liberty with the turns. Okay. Yeah. And then I smash the skulls with a mace, hitting directly in between them so that it hits both skulls at the same time <laughs> for expediency. Yep, fine. <laughs> cool, make me a strength, a strength attack. Okay. Uh, just biff it with your mace. Yeah. Add your uh, proficiency bonus. That's 1d8 piercing. Are you got yeah, yeah, yeah. To be honest, it looks like we're going straight to rolling damage, so that's fine. <laughs> you know what? We'll call it advantage on the damage roll. <laughs> <laughs> roll that d8 twice, okay. baby. Eight, eight. Eight. eight! Hey! Smash those skulls. Finally, I did something good. <laughs> you add, to be fair, legitimately, I mean, le legitimately, he says, <laughs> uh, you, you smashed both of them. Like, bonk, they cave in, they die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa. So there's one flaming skull left. Yeah. OK. Nice. Um, All right. You know what? At this point, it's like, <laughs> OK, sorry. <laughs> 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 it speaks in a voice that seems vaguely familiar. It's like, ah. <laughs> 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 Listen. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. Um, wait what? Huh? I break my concentration and kind of cancel the, the sphere of okay. radar. If, so if a skull, skull could look abashed, it would yeah. be doing it. It's sort of like, it's like it rotates down. So it's looking at the floor. It's like, to be honest, I was um, I was sort of just imprisoned in here to heat the pipes in the boiler. <laughs> but um, I don't want to end up like those other two. So um, I go. Yeah. Flame Get skull. out of here, skull. Flame skull can go. Well. What? Hit the road, skull. You can't adopt him. What? Won't fit in a papoose. He's what on fire. What is it? You've oh, got enough skeletons but... already. Yeah, you've got so Hang many on. skeletons. You have skeletons? Flame Skull, would yeah. you like to join a skeleton army? Oh, or would fuck. you like to be free and go off into the ether or whatever the heck you're up to? <laughs> join a skeleton army? Like, pff, what am I going to do? Live in a magic hammer? <laughs> That's what I really hoped you'd say. OK, uh, all right. Well, out comes the hammer, I guess. <laughs> I think uh, he was being sarcastic. Oh, right. Were you being sarcastic? I don't pick up on that well. <laughs> but you've taken the hammer out, right? <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> I think that's up to you, really, Johnny. <laughs> 60 skeletons oh. appear from the floor. Oh. Hey. No. We are at the free... Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> you again! Guys, what? I have such wonderful news. What? I found you a little baby brother. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's a flame skull. Yes, yeah, a flame skull. Ah, we needed a foreman. <laughs> OK, cool. Uh, yeah, all right. So, cool. Army is increased by one. Uh, cool. Just grab okay. and go back in the um, hammer. You hold the hammer, we clock out, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah. see you again. Yeah, yeah, we'll see you next time. OK. All 60 skeletons, followed by the flame skull, run into the hammer and just die. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hooray! And look at that! Hey. Ooh! Um, you, you are now in a basement where the pirate ghost is like, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and what time is it now? Uh, morning! Hooray! Hey. <laughs> And we got a he sort of like, he, he, he brings out an accordion and starts playing uh, a, a, a tune that you know very, very well oh. as the deed to the mansion sort of materializes in front of him and uh, floats over to, 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 to all, well, all of you. Egbert, look, Egbert, look. Egbert, look. look at the ghost. I'm busy, look at I'm busy the ghost. untying the rope from myself, so I'm Egbert, looking he's down. Right here. He's I'm floating. really just concentrating he's on the rope. He's incorporeal. In fairness. Hand. Uh, lizards don't see in full spectrum color, <laughs> so it could be down to that. Anyway, haven't you all got homes to be going to? Lol, yes! <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you want a house. <laughs> uh. <laughs> we got there. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to this live D&D &D adventure, everyone. Thank you so much to Johnny. Yeah. Round of applause for Johnny. Yeah.
Please check out Dicebreaker on YouTube. Yes. The tabletop sensation that's sweeping the nation. <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you next time. Thank you Thank so you. much. Safe journey home. Bye.